Hey guys, welcome back to another video. And today, um, I found a new mod called Aquamiri, and it's a pretty cool mod about the ocean. And today, I'm gonna share with you about the biome and the structures included inside this new biome. And I hope you enjoy the video. Okay, so let's talk about the biome they added. Um, the biome they added is called the maze. Um, it basically is a maze made out of snow, made out of ice. Um, basically, how you can see um, that you reach to one of these biomes is either getting the achievement, which says the maze, or you seeing this, uh, you look at the structures. Um, one of the very nice looking structures is this bridge thing, which is very cool. You can also um, to see that it's the biome if you see this like circle curly lollipop like things. So yeah, um, yeah, the, the biome is pretty cool. The first structure we have is a structure that is very boring. It's just like a rock. It's just a rock. Um, the good thing about this is if the biome doesn't really have an underground. The underground is basically the sea, and to get to mine stone, it's going to be quite far. But with this, you can get yourself some cobblestone if you desperately need it. And it's not really that much, but at least it will help you in something. So the next thing we have is this very cool looking tall structure. It's wooden and it definitely just looks very different to the theme of this biome. Um, I don't really see a reason why it exists, but the only thing I can come up with is just one reason. is to escape from the deadly mobs at night. And trust me, there are a lot, there's a, just one new deadly mob and it's very dangerous. And I'm going to cover that in a future video. So that, that's the only reason I think it exists. Um, but uh, aesthetically, um, it looks quite nice. There's lanterns and there's, it's wooden. And yeah, it just looks very, very cool for a very cool looking outpost to like just camp and have a good time with your friends. So the next thing we have is this chest stuck in ice. If you uncover it, break the ice, you, the loot inside isn't really that good. It just snowballs and ice. So yeah, it may look interesting, but isn't really that good. So next we have the campsite. The seat is made out of slabs and in the middle there's a campsite. Um, and there are also barrels around it. Um, the only good thing about this uh, area is that there's actually loot inside the barrels. Yeah, uh, mostly the barrels made out of different kinds of fish. Actually, it's just two. One is the cod, and the other is the salmon. You also you can also get loot like leather and sticks. So it's quite okay. Just a place to get loot. So guys, we reach to our next structure. The next structure may look a bit boring on the outside, uh, but it's very interesting in the inside. So our next structure is the Pillager Underground Base. So uh, on the top level, on the first level area, um, there's like a campsite here. It has the same look as any ordinary campsite that I just described just now. Sticks, leather, salmon, and cod. Um, then we have the entrance to the Pillager underground base. Yes, um, this, the Pillagers now have an underground base. And it's later, we're going to discuss more about Pillager areas. And yeah, let's just continue. Uh, make sure not to fall down, you know, like just go through that hole, like just fall down. You're going to take a lot of fall damage. So just follow the steps and just play careful. And next, you're going to have to open the door, but be careful. There are going to be some dangerous amounts of pillagers 
and they can actually do some hard damage. Yeah, and welcome to and here is the main hall. We have some emeralds here. You can take if you want. It brings a very nice aesthetic look to this underground base. There's also some barrels for you to take, some food, some other stuff that will be essential to your survival in this biome. And once we go here, we have the dining hall. Um, the dining hall has a lot of cool stuff. And there's pillagers holding bread and uh, hay bales around. And there are even smokers and a barrel that has some loot and a lot of cool stuff. Uh, I can't really like the fact that they are holding bread, <laughs> which really symbolizes a dining hall. And yeah, pretty cool. Let's go to next to the next area called the study hall, I like to call it. Um, there's a jar for a golden moth, which is pretty cool. Um, we make sure to check the barrels for good loot. Sometimes they do give a, a lot of OP loot, and sometimes they don't. But just take a note of that. Um, just now, uh, in one of them, I was able to get some iron, quite a lot of iron from them. So do take note of that. Um, so the study hall has a lectern, a cartography table, and this cha chair. You're going to notice that the chairs are usually like this are usually shaped like this and using a slab and a do spruce door and you see here we have Mr. Vindicator here um, he will usually spawn here so do note that before entering the hall when like you need to know you need to prepare yourself your shield and make sure you do land those crits on him because Vindic Vindicators are very dangerous let's go to the n next room we have um, not very not very nice, just a very boring room. It's, I like to call it the freezer. I think that's what the yeah, idea of how they wanted to portray this area. Um, so they basically just freeze the food. And we got some loot, more loot, more cool loot, bamboo, coal, poisonous potatoes, whatever. And, ne and then next we're going to go to the vents. Um, the next room, you need to go through the vents or you have just mine your way there. So what I want you to do is just mine a few blocks up and then just pl just place, thi place this and then we're going to place a trap door here and then just flip it down and if I'm not wrong, yes, you are currently, uh, we are currently at one block. Uh, let me just let me just uh, position myself a bit better. Yep, we are in one block um, territory, and we are now able to move through the vents. I like the fact that they just place sea lanterns here, so that there's light and no entities can spawn here. So we're gonna go through here. Do note that these people can spawn sometimes. Just take note of that, and they deal quite a lot of damage. So be sure to get your shields and weapons ready, and. We're going to welcome you to the treasure room. Uh, the treasure room has no doors, so you have to go through the vents or mine your way here. And this, this, we're not going to talk about the frozen chest first, but we're going to go through the loot. Mostly, they're going to be TNT here, so do make sure to put your flaming bows away and make sure not to fire at them because it's going to be catastrophic. Um, the chest contains a lot of random stuff, but it's usually diamonds, emeralds, iron, and gold, and so on. And some lapis too. And yeah, pretty cool loot. But let's go to the frozen chest. The frozen chest is the mo is the chest with the most OP loot. And what you need is a frozen key. The fro the only way you can get a frozen key is by defeating the ghost of Captain Cornelius, the um, boss in this in this new mod. And yeah, you just have to kill it and you'll get the key. So let us get the key from Creative Mood. And let me show you what you can get from from opening one of these bad boys. Alright, the click sound. And we're going to open the chest. You can see here we got a lot of OP loot. And whoa, that's pretty cool. And you re by killing villagers. Yeah, there's a lot of new weapons added into this game. And we're gonna, there's also a lot of other stuff like golden apples. And a lot of stuff from the mod. And you can even get totem of undying. Which is pretty cool. So yeah. This pretty much it. Um, overall, this underground base is actually quite cool. Let me just show you how cool it is in spectator mood. This is this is very cool. Um, we got we're gonna just 
position ourselves a bit better. Yeah. Okay. So yeah, look, the, the tree looks like a place where people just seek refuge. People just seek refuge and just rest. It really looks like they're just trying to live their lives, you know. And it's pretty. It's a pretty cool, pretty cool structure. And it also gives you a lot of good loot if you know what you're doing. So, and overall, this structure is probably very good. You may not be able to see it that easily, but if you do, it can be very essential to your survival in this biome. So yeah, let's move on to the next structure. So next, we have the pillager tower. Let's... Firstly, let's talk about the basement. The basement is made out of spruce log foundation, which makes the structure quite realistic, personally. And yeah, the, let's go to the next part. We're going to go to the best way to get in. So we're going to get in through here. And you can see there's a spruce door here, some barrels and some composters. So you just bridge your way up here to here and just open the door. And next, we're gonna meet a lot of pillagers and vindicators here, so do be careful. I got rid of them, all of them here, but they're gonna be pillagers and vindicators here. And you can open the barrels and get yourself some nice looking loot. And yeah, a lot of nice looking loot. Some of them not so good, but yeah, a lot of food stuff. And if you come up here and just build your way up here. You can also get some more supplies, some more food and supplies here, and a lot of loot. So next we're going to go to the second level, where you can't go up the chain. The chain is supposed to be like a rope, but you can't go up, so I just highly recommend just stacking up or building some ladders and destroy this block. So next we're going to just teach you about everywhere on the second level. The second level does have much more better loot. But first, I'd like to go here and just note that there's some barrels here. Um, the barrels do contain loot, but I found rare, one very lucky one, if I'm not wrong. Yeah, here, which has quite a lot of armor, decent armor. Not the best armor, it's just leather armor, but it's still quite decent and quite good. And you can also go here and get yourself some more loot over here. And yeah, a lot of loot that sure fills up the, tape, the space a lot. So next, we're gonna ch um, show you the one, the, the way without what without the door. If you go to the path that doesn't have a door, you can get yourself some bookshelves, some books. You can even get yourself a lectern. It looks quite aesthetically nice. There's a lot of bookshelves, so yeah, it's gonna be quite a lot of bookshelves you're gonna get from this. And next, we're gonna go to the one with the door. Um, if you go through the door, you're gonna get yourself into some trouble with the Vincicators. Um, if I'm not wrong, there's some Vincicators here and they're gonna attack you. So do be careful, bring yourself a shield and get your best armor because it's gonna be quite hard because it's close combat. And as you can see here, there's some armor which is chainmail um, chain armor and that's why I call this place the Armory. But it's not really. There's a cartography table also here, some plotted plants, and there's some loot. And the loot is actually quite good, so do not you could get diamonds from this, which is quite good. So we're gonna go to the third level. Um I would just now I was just confused of how to get up here, but the way you're supposed to go is through here. You just go up this way and you can get yourself to the third and final level. So you get so there are gonna be a few vindicators here. So do be careful. Please do not fall off because you'll probably die to fall damage. So do be careful. I kind of like how they place the flag here, and you can just go up the ladder and go to the top and just have a nice view. So here comes the final room, which is the high the room at the highest. If you go through it. Um, it has a emerald with an item frame on top of it, and if you go through it, you're gonna get yourself a lot of loot. It's an anvil, some uh, s some very nice furnaces, and there's some good loot. In it's I mean personally, it's the best loot. You're gonna get lapis lazuli, some emerald, some gold, and some iron, and a lot more stuff from it. 
So yeah, overall, this structure is pretty cool. It brings a lot of decent loot, and it is very, very cool structure. And it is, though, and it's a very rare structure to come by, so do note that. It took me a while to quite find this very cool structure. So yeah, that's pretty much about the tower for the pillagers. On to the next one. Lastly, we have the pirate ship or the pillager ship, whatever you want to call it. It's the biggest structure in the mod and in the biome. So yeah, uh, aesthetically it looks quite cool. There's a lot, there's pillager banners here and a lot of other stuff. I kind of like the flag things, the sails. There are like three sails here, and it looks really like a pirate ship or a ship. And let's go to the f the main area. And you can see here, there's a beehive. I don't know why they added a beehive, but I guess whatever. There's some loot here, composters, and hay bales, pumpkins, and a lot of cool stuff. And they light it up with lanterns. Do note that um, for this area, it's usually filled with ice, usually filled with snow, like this, at, on here. Over here, it's filled with this, uh, snow and packed ice. So it's not going to look like clear of packed ice and snow. So do note that. And yeah, there are also going to be pillagers here. Dangerous amounts of vindicators and pillagers. So do note that. Yeah, and yeah, there's just that one pillager over there. I don't know why he's there. So we're going to go to the bottom level. We're not going to go through here yet. We're going to go to a bottom le level. And <laughs> this is not supposed to be here. But anyway, you see there's like this chain thing, so all you gotta do is either just break the chains or you just open a chest from there. And you can get a lot of cool stuff, nautilus shells, a lot of, yeah, a lot of stuff, stuff, a lot of emeralds, a lot of iron. And do know there's gonna be vindicators here and a lot of more dangerous mobs, so do be careful. Yeah, a lot of stuff. And we're gonna go, and there's gonna be a lot more loot here. Loot here, loot there, a lot of food, a lot of stuff, a lot of moth stuff, and there's a fellow vindicator here, hello there, and there's gonna be a lot more loot, food, a lot, a lot of loot, food, they yeah, just a bit too much, but the main thing, you can also use the villagers, there's a lot of villager prisoners here, and they are in their cells, usually there are like 3 to 4 of them here, and you can just use them for your own trading once you kill all the pages here and make a trade hub here so which is pretty cool i kind of like the prison the prison looks kind of compact and cool i like how they even add a small little bit here so yeah let's go to the main the captain's area so we're gonna go here and yeah oh uh, yeah there's some gonna be some vindicators here and let's go to the top. There's some bookshelves you can take for books. There's gonna be some, uh, yeah, yeah, about that. Yeah, there's gonna be a lot of OP stuff in the barrels. So do check. There's a skeleton hip for some apparent reason. And there's a cartography table, some other stuff. The pillager with the shell horn, and it's for the Captain Cornelia. We're gonna emphasize on that later. Just check, remember to check the barrels, make sure you have stuff. Um, you can also get through here through like just bridging up here and then opening this and there's some emeralds here you can just like just take them just take them like that in survival and we're gonna f talk about this area um, yeah there's a book here I don't want to go through too much about it but it's quite cool and yeah we're gonna just just read through it it's pretty cool and yeah there's even more stuff here just a lot more OP enchanted books. So let's talk about the, sh the guy with the shell horn. The shell horn basically summons Captain Cornelia. I'm going to show you that later. And first, this is the guy with the shell horn. And, with the and we're going to kill him. So <laughs> let's go. And you're going to see here we get the shell horn. Um, the shell horn basically summons Captain Cornelia which will get you the boss battle and if you kill it you get the skeleton key which is pretty cool so I'm gonna show you how you do it so you just horn 
And you're probably gonna get... Okay, we're just gonna have to wait. Yeah, we're gonna have to keep on doing it for a lot of times. Okay, I'm just gonna keep on trying. And try... Oh, yes, finally. Yeah, um, yeah, so Captain Colinia is gonna come. And I'm gonna discuss how do you beat this uh, boss in a future video. But Captain Colinia, you're just gonna stay there. I'm gonna beat you next time. So guys, I guess this wraps up for today's video. Um, this video today was pretty cool. I'm honestly quite, I really like this mod. It's, it's a good mod. I know it doesn't really add much. I mean, it adds a lot. And there's a lot of new mobs. But I can see the huge potential where they can expand on this mod. Add new mobs and new, a lot of things to this mod. I'm gonna try my, I'm gonna try to like this. Uh, talk about the other mobs in the future video and of course the boss uh, Captain Cornelia goes of Captain Cornelia and yeah uh, it's a very cool mod yeah also be sure to subscribe like comment comment about any other mods you want me to do I'll try my best I'll, I'll see if I can do it and like try to you know explain it to you guys so yeah um, goodbye